Welcome back. Thousands were in Washington, D.C. to commemorate the 57th anniversary of the March on Washington. People gathered to hear speakers from across the country and march together for racial equality. CBS 19's Channing Curtis has more on the significance of the historic march. We are tired of being beaten by policemen. And then you all be patient. How long can we be patient? We must say, wake up, America, wake up, for we cannot stop, and we will not and cannot be patient. It's been 57 years since John Lewis spoke these words at the historic March on Washington in front of the Lincoln Memorial. I was a little boy, uh, and I remember coming on television, and everybody was excited uh, about Dr. Martin Luther King and others that were going to be uh, uh, sponsoring this march. Uh, I remember how touching and moving it was to see it on television. Uh, at that time. I remember seeing the pictures and it overwhelmed me to see that many people in one area. Today, in the middle of a pandemic, men and women from all backgrounds heard similar words demanding an end to racial inequality. Reading about the marches and reading about the protests and history books that led to the civil rights movement and here, you know, 57 years later, we're still living in a country where Dr. King's dream has not been fully realized. I understand the words of Dr. Martin Luther King who said that the Negro people have been given a bad check, a check which has come to be marked insufficient funds. Today we stop the insufficient funds and we put money in the bank because we've got to heal this nation. Many East Texans like Dr. Pamela Phoenix watched today's event online. I really believe that uh, it should have enlightened and a move to empower black people to want to do more, especially with the rights that we've attained. Cassandra and David Berkeley made the trip from Houston all the way to DC just to attend in person. There's a sense of excitement and solidarity. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there were marches that happened all over the country in individual cities. Mm -hmm. So this march was really the culmination of, of St. Louis and Houston and Oakland and L.A. and Memphis and Ferguson and everybody who has done something impactful in their city coming together this one place in one voice to say Black Lives Matter. You know, I was, I was recording it on live and everything, and I pray that my daughter will be able to watch this one day and, but not have to live it. We've come a long way in the last 57 years. Years later, we don't have those same problems, you know, but we're still, we're still carrying the same message. But that doesn't mean things couldn't still be better. We're going to stand together. We're going to sing together. We're going to stay together. We're going to moan together. We're going to groan together. And after a while, we've got freedom. We've got you covered. Channing Curtis, CBS 19.